and welcome to another tutorial, this time covering some extra and situational smokes that you can use in cash. So I'll be starting over on the T side, pushing the A bomb. You have your normal smokes at short and balcony and quad if need be, but there are two other smokes that you can use if coordinate with your team, and they are very effective. So firstly, putting yourself up on this pipe in the corner, I'm basically lining my crosshair up with these two small indents in the brick. It's pretty hard to see in the video I'd imagine, but it shouldn't be an issue in game. And then just moving your crosshair to the left and throwing will land the smoke behind the site, which will then aid you getting into the bomb site and quad. It blocks out the vision of the CTs playing short and the car. Throwing this and then having somebody on quad watching the push through the smoke also allows the player with a bomb to plant openly in the site instead of in the corner, which then makes it easier to cover from places like A main or door. This smoke took me a while to find as I had a similar one but it wasn't reliable. Do note for this one I am using a jump bind so that it works 100% of the time. So lining yourself up with this white paint on the corner of the wall and then aiming just under the bracket that's holding the pipe in place and then pressing the jump and throw bind. This is then going to do some bounces and land on the box behind red. My previous one landed on red but as I said it was unreliable and it didn't work every time. And this one does a similar job. It's not as good because it doesn't cover so much of the area, but it still works. What this does is on an A push, imagine the normal places are smoked. It allows you to utilize the boxes and be able to jump and climb over red to overwhelm CTs playing sight or quad without the risk of being seen from the short or car. As you can see here from the CT's point of view with the two basic smokes, the short and balcony, along with the two that I've just shown you, they have literally no vision of the terrorists entering the site. All they have is the forklift here and you should always have a player around here holding the push. This is from the terrorist point of view and I've smoked quad off, although I kind of prefer not to. There is a small gap here, but it would be less if the short smoke was closer to red. So moving on from the A site, this is to smoke short. If you plan on doing a mid push or maybe even some kind of crazy B wrap strategy, then this would come in use. This obviously just covers the site from shore and the A site to middle, meaning you can focus your attention on the connector or even push it, which is what I mean by the wrap strategy. So imagining you have two players in garage throwing the wall of smoke to middle, along with another player throwing the short smoke, you can then all charge out as a team, have the person who threw the short smoke take a normal B route, maybe two players through vent and then two can push all the way through the smoke through connector after taking out the mid player and then wrap behind the B player. Or you could just have a player sit in the connector waiting for the rotates from A to CT with no idea that you're there. This smoke is going to help sell the fake at A. You now have one player in A main making noise, throwing flashes, etc. Four players at B with two smokes covering CT in heaven, and then one CT for the after plant. And then the fourth player could do this smoke. You have to line your crosshair up in the middle of these lines on the building and then up to the wire. You basically have to throw when your crosshair gets to about the middle between the wire and the building. This is not an easy smoke and it's going to take practice to perfect every time. But if you can get this to work then it's going to smoke short along with another smoke from the A player and some flashes. It would really help sell the fake A and make people rotate. These last few smokes are going to be going over the B site. Firstly I have to stress that this window has to be broken first which could possibly give the B attack away. But even still when you're at B if you don't hear loads of footsteps then it could just be one player trying to sell a fake. But anyway, imagine the scenario that they've smoked outside B as normal, you have two players around this area waiting for it to fade, you're about to hit B, they smoke CT and heaven. Hopefully they're covering checkers at this point but you also have to imagine that you're throwing your smokes at the same time as their CT and heaven. Jump up on this box and line yourself up at the edge of it and then to the bottom of this line and throw. This is then going to smoke the middle of the site so you won't be shot when running in along with this next smoke as you can have another player down here lining up in the same place. This then bounces and smokes off headshot meaning you can all just get in the site and work together to clear it. I mean at this point they don't really have many places to hide on site and running through smoke is deadly but it's like four versus one so it should be pretty easy. You of course also have flashes and nades to help you but it has to be done very fast before everyone rotates. You can also rule out headshot if the player who threw the smoke from up here on the box throws this molotov meaning he has to be somewhere on site as this will basically clear that entire area out so now there's no hiding for him he's dead you can also have another player throw this molotov which i have just failed but we'll do again and hopefully it will work this time and when it does like this it goes to the back of the site so that is it for this tutorial that is what i have for you hopefully at least one of these come in use to you for your quest to be the new get right Hopefully I will see you in the next video, which will most likely be Inferno. Goodbye.